I'm going to do um, a demonstration first and then I want you to do it with me. We're going to cut the chicken and saute. Now from last week, can we remember how many pieces we should? 13. 13. 13. And how many pieces of that would we serve to the customer? Eight. 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 Can we remember what they are? Not 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 okay, well we'll do it as we go along. Can you remember how, what size I said these chickens were roughly? Two kilo and a half. About 1.7, 1.8 to 2 kilos normally. Okay. Is this chicken in good condition? Yeah. Pretty much so. Ish. Firm flesh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Passable. No broken wings. Fat? A little bit of fat on there, but that's fine. You'd expect a chicken to have a little bit of fat on it. Okay? Good. Right. How are we going to start? Wash it. Wash it. I've already washed it. It's ready. Yeah. I've checked the... Um, the... Um, cavity. Um, it's pretty clean. Might just be... A little bit in there, but it's pretty okay. Apart from that little bit there, which is a little bit of... Uh, something like that. Right, first of all, we're going to cut these off. They are called... Wings. Right, so we take the wing tips off first. One. Two. Okay, then we take the wings off through the knuckles. One. Two. So there are wings. The wing winglets. Okay, then we're going to turn the chicken on its side with its back towards us. Probably a bony knife is good for this. We're going to tort up the skin so that it's tight here. Mm -hmm. Okay? We're going to make an incision. Okay. So we can see now we've got the inside there of the joint. At the back here, this part, is called the oyster. And that's one of the tastiest bit of the chicken. So we want to make sure we save that. So, we go down into the oyster with the tip of the knife and go right into the little cavity. Yeah. Okay? Then, with a sharp movement to our left, we're going to break the, um, the joint. No, we'll do that in a minute. Then, we go all the way down to this part, which is called Parsons nose. nose. That's the, the bottom. Yeah? That's our leg. Now we're going to turn it onto its other side. So it's now pressed towards you. Again, incision. Locate the um, oyster. Tip of the knife, go into the oyster and out. Twist it. Perfect, that one. Okay, and you can see that's now, that's like your yeah. elbow. It's a ball and socket joint. So it actually works inside. That's the cavity and that sits inside it. Take our oyster through, go right down to the bottom. There's our second leg. Okay. Put that away for a second, and we're going to work on the legs. What we've got here? Two pieces. Leg and a thigh. Leg and a thigh. Now we've got a leg, we have a thigh and a drumstick. Yep. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is tidy up a little bit. So we're going to make an incision all the way around the chicken. Can you see these white um, sinews. Mm -hmm. It's good if you can get them out because they can make it a little bit tough. Then when we've got it clean, hold it to the edge of your board, give it one chop and you get a nice clean bone. Now, here is another ball and socket. Okay, and You need to locate that and you need to cut right through it. Like that. 
Đấy. Xóa đi ạ. Nó thúc. U. Skin. Đấy. This is the thigh. You can do exactly the same with that. Take out the knuckles. Tidy it up. So, round the drop stick. Try to get the white sinews out if we can. One chop. Mm -hmm. Locate our joint. Notice I chop with the heel, it's the head part. Okay, so that's a nice, we've got one little bone in there, so if anyone's eating that, they haven't got to struggle with all the knuckle thing. Okay, now, in the video last week, you remember, I took the bush wishbone out first. I, I tend to do it this way around. So, make a incision in the middle of the skin. Okay, what's this? That's the neck. That's the neck. Yeah, it's been cut a little bit long. Inside there, we need to. Can you hear that? Okay, and then you'll feel the bone here and here. Okay? Yeah. With your little knife, go down inside it. Mm. It's already broken this one. Mm. Okay, it's already broken, so it's gonna help. Okay, and that should leave that without hacking away at it. Just try to get behind both sides. Make a nice cut. Okay, so can you remember? Anyone remember what we did next? Yes. Yeah. We're going to take, imagine that we want to get four nice pieces, all the same size. So, we're going to cut two wings here, and we're going to cut two pieces from the breast. This is the breastbone here. We use that as our guide. So, starting with the wings. Make an incision. Go all the way down. And that frees that. And there's a rib cage that goes there. Just follow the rib cage down. And eventually you come to a knuckle. Just cut through the knuckle. So there, because this is quite a large chicken, that's almost like a supreme, isn't it? It's quite a decent sized portion. If you were maybe in a nursing home somewhere, you probably, that would be enough for a portion for an old lady or an old man. Because yeah, yeah. they don't need too much at that age. Okay, and then, matching what we did there, the other side. Go down. Follow the rib cage. Cut through the joint. Now we have a second one. If we want to tidy these up, what we can do is cut this muscle off here. And 
again. Chop it off so it's nice and clean. Now we're left with the two pieces of breast. Turn the bird onto its side. And we're going to go through the joint here and along with the knife. So, there we go through one side, to the other side. Okay, that leaves us with a piece of breast, and if you locate the breast bone, there's a lump on it. Put your knife there. So there's two pieces of breast. And then the carcass, two nice little chops, and you've got three pieces of carcass. So we can reassemble our chicken. What did you do with the carcass? That's what we use to make our sauces um, and stocks and things, yeah? Any questions? Right, five minutes, where you go, get that done. Where's the birds? In feet. <laughs>